Okay, so we just left the Lion King. <laughs> Team Mufasa. Hmm. But um, movie was great. But anyway, look at this. Right here. Knocked out. And we'll wake up. Jayla. Jayla. everyone, Maria here and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are just doing a little um, chit chat. Hmm? No, just give me one minute, okay? Mm -hmm. Alright. Hey guys, Maria here and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be creating this look and doing like a nice little chit chat ramble. Get ready with me. Um, it is opening night for Lion King, so I'm in a rush. We got to get out of here like right now it's seven o'clock so yeah. it is seven o'clock yes so let's go ahead and jump so let's go ahead and jump right into the video just make sure that you have subscribed to my channel and by the end of this video just make sure you give it a nice big thumbs up thumbs thumbs up <laughs> and share all that good stuff like i said subscribe yada 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 and let's hop into it Sandals. okay so before we get started yes i am wearing a top and yes i know i have rollers in <laughs> so now that we have that little elephant out of the way let's go ahead and get started i'm first going to start by priming my face okay. so uh, first i'm going to start off by priming with my l'oreal matte lock l'oreal infallible matte lock excuse me so yeah, since I am supposed to be like talking, since this is like a chit chat, get ready with me. Um, yeah, you know, I'll we'll just be talking about like random stuff. Um, you know, what's been going on, where I've been, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. I mean, that's if you even care, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, so tonight is opening night for Lion King. I have a Mufasa shirt that I'm gonna wear. I'm probably a clown for that, but I really don't care. I'm I'm wearing that hoe. <laughs> so um, I just took the Maybelline blur stick and put that right up in here. Um, but yeah, so if I'm able to take a picture or maybe like a video um, of my outfit, it's really basic, but it's just the Mufasa shirt and some jeans and a little belt. But um. I'm able to take a picture of it or a little video of it I will do so um but yeah so I'm really excited to go see it because like Lion King is like my judge it's like one of my favorite movies like 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 ever yeah so ugh. I got um You know that, um, I don't know, that build up? I guess on the lip gloss I had on? I don't know. Anyway. Thank God I saw that. Not trying to sit through a whole video with that sitting there in the corner. That's nasty. So, um, so yeah. Me and my daughter are going to go see Lion King. And um, relive that tra okay. tragedy. I almost said tragedy. Relive that tragedy all over again. <laughs> so, so yeah, we're gonna go do that. And um, mind you, it's Thursday, by the way, not Friday. So that's because I was really pressed to get these tickets. So, and I was like, nope, we're going Thursday. And yeah so that's what we doing let me just see if i can shoot. can you go behind my ear sheesh being rude and disrespectful okay Oh, um, eyebrows, I mean, I'm going to list everything in the description box below, but 
using the Maybelline Tattoo Studio brow gel right now. But yeah, so that's first things first is that we're gonna go see Lion King. We're gonna see my sister play Nala. Um, if you don't know who my sister is, then maybe you are, you know, a newbie here on my channel. But my sister is Beyonce. Don't come for me in the comments because she's my sister. Point blank in the period. So, I'm the youngest of the three. It's Beyonce, Solange, then me. So, hmm. But, yeah. Um, let's see. What else has been going on? Oh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, which you should, um, in September, I am doing a makeup class. So again, if you all don't know, I am actually a makeup artist in the Baltimore, DC and Northern Virginia area. And, um, so the thing is though, like I don't really, which I really need to do better with, but I don't really post pictures of my clients, which is bad when you're a makeup artist. So yeah, I don't know. You know what? I feel like I look like freaking Dumbo with this behind my ears right now. Hold, hold on. I'm not trying to have y'all clocking me talking about sis your ears you look crazy as I was saying <laughs> yeah I am a makeup artist and like I was saying um, I really suck at like taking pictures of my clients so I'm really I really need to do better uh, with that but yeah so I'm hosting a makeup class it's called a slay every day uh, makeup class brushes and bellinis uh, my makeup website will be in the description box below with um, and you can just go to the website to get all the details but I think one detail that I don't have listed on the website is that um, I will do like a flex payment plan granted it's not very expensive it's only $150 but listen I know how things can be, you know what I mean? You might not just have $150 to drop on some makeup class or whatever the case might be, you feel me? So, I will allow you to break it up. Um, but yeah, you just gotta go register or, you know, contact me, email me, courier pigeon me, whatever me, and, um, you know, we can get you set up. But again, that's only this... <clears throat> Excuse me. This first class is um, only going to be for people who live in the D.C., Maryland, and Baltimore. Sorry. D.C., Maryland, Baltimore. Lord. D.C., Maryland, and Northern Virginia area. Um might expand depending on how this first class goes and yeah so I'm gonna have it's gonna be like a small intimate class because like you know I really really want the attendees to get something out of it like I want them to feel like you know they're really learning something and like getting their money's worth I mean you'll get your money's worth in the products you receive but you know, I really want you to feel like you actually got something out of the class as well and not just the products because um, this my class is going to be a little different from, you know, like your regular makeup class. We have to like bring your stuff. No, 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 no. I'm going to provide all the products and stuff for you that you're going to need for the class and, um, and you get to keep them. So, yeah, that's why it can't be free, you know, that's why I guess you can consider that a little up there in price. I mean, I don't know. I've seen, you know, makeup classes 
for the same price where you have to actually bring your stuff so whatever but it is what it is like I said all the you know all the details are on my website I'll flash my website across the screen and I will also have it in the description box below next week I'll be going on vacation and um, I'm going to try my best to vlog again. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to end this vlog some of my vacation. Uh, we will be going to Jamaica. My cousin is getting married. Excited about that. And um, we'll be there for five days. I mean, we're, I probably won't... Like vlog at the wedding but like I'll do you know because I feel like that's private it's personal so I won't vlog at the wedding or the reception but you know like other stuff other days you know through the airport yada 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 blah 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 I'll do that and um yeah and this is a maybe I'm not even 100% sure I might just do like a little pack with me while I'm packing my daughter's stuff and maybe like a get ready with me while I'm, you know, doing my makeup and stuff and getting ready for the wedding. I might do that, but um, I don't know. So we'll figure it out. I'll see what, A, what time permits and, you know, B, what I can do. My daughter's actually in the wedding. So she's gonna be the flower girl. Her dress is so cute. So yeah, we'll do we'll do that. And um, let me go put this in the oven for her real quick, and I'll return so we can do the eyes and stuff. Okay, so we are. Very up close and very personal. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get started on these eyes. And I'm just going to continue blabbing. So, um, yeah. First, I'm going to take the Perception Palette. I have powder on the back up. <clears throat> and I'm going to go in with Thick. Right there. And put that in my crease. I'm actually going to mix Thick and Culture. <clears throat> and put that in my crease. I don't know what is going on <clears throat> with my voice right now. So anyway, um, let's see. What else can we talk about? Oh, if you uh, care, Jordan Woods is going to be a starring in the next Rick Ross video. I am so here for it. First of all, I love Rick Ross. Let's just start off with that. Um, if you watch my homecoming vlog, then you would have seen a little bit of the concert. I don't think I had much footage of the concert because my phone was on like 3% during the concert and I was kind of upset. But, uh, yeah, so, and I'm excited for her because all of that Kardashian stuff and all that stupidity, and you know, go girl, do you. I am so here for it. But, <clears throat> yeah, so that, that video will be dropping soon. Here for that. Um, is there anything? Oh, I know what we can talk about. <sighs> it's, it's old news by now, but, you know, I'm always late to stuff. Blue face? <laughs> honey. 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 Listen. I'm gonna go now. I'm now going to go in with my proceed precautions. So, side note, <laughs> I dropped the out of this palette, so these are no longer in order. <laughs> like when I tell you I dropped it, like this thing dropped. Like the pans literally popped out, which is why they're not in place anymore. So now we're just gonna put this in the outer V. So as I was saying. This blue face kid, right? Honey. Like, 
So I first saw the video on the shade room because I follow them. I, I be needing my drama. So I first saw the video of him kicking his mom and his sister out of his home. Uh, maybe this was maybe this was a couple of weeks ago, and so and then like I saw, <clears throat> I guess I'm just gonna I'm actually gonna take that brush that I just cleaned off, which has nothing on it, and I'm just gonna um, buff these together. So and then maybe like the other day, I saw a video where he made a song about it like making fun of it and i don't know like i really don't know what's you know going on with these kids today and i mean i say it like i'm old but i mean like i i'm obviously older than he is you know I don't know how old he is but i'm gonna assume maybe he's like 21 22 which will put me quite a few years older than him so um yeah like I, I just I don't get it you feel me like what so because you know like I was raised where you don't disrespect Okay, here I come. Like, okay. Maybe it was a toxic relationship. Don't know. We don't know how their relationship is. But, you know, like from the video that he showed, you know, previously where he gave her, you know, 10 racks, like, they seem to have a pretty okay relationship. But, I mean, you know, everything that glitters ain't go. But... Let me go get this out of the oven for her and then I'll come finish my thought. Okay. So as I was saying, you know, everything that glitters ain't go. We all know that. You know, we all know the saying, blah, blah, blah. You know, whatever. So, but I'm just like, really put them out for your two girlfriends. And first of all, let's talk about this whole Let's talk about this whole, like, three-way relationship kind of thing that's, like, a fad now. Why is this a fad? I'm sorry. You know, like, like you know, if my man were to be like, you know, hey, I want to date you, but I also want to date you at the same time. <laughs> Baby boy, <laughs> I appreciate your honesty. However not gonna happen go find somebody else you feel me so mm -mm, not really here for it at all whatsoever but i'm like when did this become a fad and why like i'm gonna take some of the yellow color i believe the yellow color is caution so i'm just gonna take that and put that on the lid um well press it on And, but yeah, like, I'm just like, why did this become a fad? Like, okay, like, we know side chicks and mistresses, you know, they've been around since the beginning of time. We know that. But this whole, like, three-way, like, relationship where y'all are, like, where he's, like, really committed and like committed, I guess you want to call it committed relationship with two other people. Like that's crazy to me. First and foremost, like if I were to present to some guy, oh hey, you know I want to date you, but I also want to date you. You won't look at me like I'm a hoe. So you know I kind of changed my mind about this yellow. But it's too late, you know, we already committed. Because I realized that I wanted that, like, orangish shade, uh, warning. I realized I wanted that instead. But, you know, whatever. We're here now. We're just going to go with it. Um, I just don't be, like, it's a cute yellow. It's a very nice yellow. 
but for some reason like on my eyelid it just be wanting to be patchy for some reason and I'm not sure why I mean I guess to each his own but like I don't get it like what happened to you know like I mean I know times have changed I know you know society's changed things have changed but like you know what happened to chivalry what happened to gender roles you know what I mean like where the guy still opens up the door for you where you know he still takes out the trash all of that like I know it still exists because yes I'm a living witness I know it still exists however I'm just like it's not it doesn't seem like you know it's that big of a deal to people anymore and you know I just I'm wondering like why you know what happened you feel me like what happened I guess I gotta mess this eye up too let me go ahead and mess this eye up and um and and then fix it <laughs> And then uh, come back so we can do the face. I'm just going to actually speed through it real quick. So you'll get to see it. But I'm just going to speed through it. Because y'all just saw me screw up on this other eye. Y'all don't need to see me screw up on this one too. So we're back. We've color corrected. Boom. Let's go ahead. I'm going to actually be mixing the Sephora uh 10 hour wear perfection foundation with the l'oreal fresh wear foundation so as you can see i'm a little i'm a little bit tan. <laughs> so this one's a little bit too dark actually and then this one now is too light it's probably too late when i first got it but we're not gonna talk about that so See, it doesn't look too dark on camera, but in person, it is just a little. It's not like a ton, but when I come back from Jamaica, I better be this color. I'm just saying. Otherwise, I'm going to sue somebody. I don't know who, but I'm suing. And um, to apply it, see now I need a hair tie or a clip or something. Ugh. Anyway, to apply it, I'm going to actually use a foundation brush. <laughs> this is my um, MUA. Doesn't have a name, just says MUA. So just a Makeup Academy brush that I picked up from like CVS. I really like this brush to apply foundation. Applies it very well. And I still go over it with a, um, a sponge just to make sure it's like seamless. Only bad thing about this brush is that it sheds like sh Like. Sheds like a cat. But anyway, let's go ahead and... Uh, I'm wearing a black shirt so I have no problem going down on my neck. Coverage is everything, actually. Like, I mean, it is like good. I have to move this scarf. And we are going to just, because what I won't do. <laughs> Mm 
what we not gonna do. Just gonna pull it back just a second, just for a second, just to get the rest of this forehead. Cause y'all know I got a big old forehead. Don't come for me in the comments either. Oh, and now we are going to go in with the ColourPop Dark 40. Highlight the face. What I really, really, like, I love this concealer first and foremost, but like, I was able to apply all that off of one little dip. I kind of want to come back from Jamaica this color, but I don't know how feasible that is. So let me just, you know, do baby steps. So, gonna take that same Morphe sponge and blend away. You feel me? So, I kind of just stopped like mid thought with what I was talking about, but I'm tired of talking about. Um, these relationships and now you know girls are proposing to men and I'm just like baby girl won't be me I'm just saying kudos to you to do it but won't be me I am 100% I'm going to have my future husband, he has to propose to me. Period. Period. On period. And that's and that's as these um as y'all like to say nowadays, and that's no cap. <laughs> Is he allowing this to happen? What time does the movie start? It starts at seven thirty. We're leaving at seven. Okay. I'll be done shortly. Exactly. Ah! That won't take me much longer. Make sure to give a big thumbs up. You heard her. As you can see, I'm being rushed. So, which, I mean, do you have to hurry up? Even though, you know, seats are reserved and all of that good stuff, but... You don't know how long the line's going to be because, like I said, it's opening night and I don't want to have to boss up on somebody for being in my seat. So, you know, I'm just going to... Um... That one more minute. Go! Go! <laughs> go so I can finish. I think I was boy. If I was boy, I'm sorry, that was my daughter's fault. But anyway. Um, but yeah, so I don't know what else to talk about. Like I feel like I've been rambling. Oh I'm late on this too. But let's talk about Sea Breezy because I mean I never canceled Chris Brown. Let's just, you know, I'm just gonna put that out there. I never canceled him. I did, you know believe all that stuff about him and Rihanna however but like I never canceled him a because like I mean his music is dope like I'm sorry um but like I don't you know agree with beating on women and all this that and a third I mean I don't but I don't believe in domestic violence like at all. So, you know, a, a woman hitting a man and a man hitting a woman, like I don't believe in none of that. But I just never canceled Chris Brown. But so that whole um, thing where people were like picking apart his lyric when he said, you know, he only dates, um, you know, black women with nice hair. Like, I'm sorry. I didn't take offense to it. I did not feel like he was pushing the colorism agenda because to me, nice hair can be on somebody who's like 500 times darker than me. And 
nice hair could also, you know, be on a person, you know, who's on the lighter end of the spectrum of, um, you know, black. So, I mean, granted, yes, we know that typically when people say nice hair, it's geared towards light-skinned women. Whatever. We're past that. You know, we, we not here for it. Y'all, I got bit up at a cookout on Sunday. Like, look at my arm. Like, right there. Look at this. Like, I got tore up. Anyway, so, we know that typically, you know, when people say, oh, I only like, you know, women with nice hair, yada, yada, yada. You know, it could be the real hair, it could be talking about weave, whatever, but it's typically geared towards light like, skinned women. Okay, whatever. But like I said, I feel like we're past that, you know? Like, yes, colorism does still exist. We know that. Yes, people still push the colorism agenda. We know that. But I'm just like, I feel like we are to the point where, you know, people are just like really embracing their natural hair. Uh, call me naive, call me what you want. Um, but I just, yeah, I just don't. And then um, let's just take what he said like at face value and, um, and just go with, you know, the people who are offended are people that don't take care of their hair. Period. Yeah, I said it. Because I know I wear wigs, I wear weaves, all this, that, and the third. And I don't care. My hair underneath here, I'm not bald. <laughs> so, I mean, I just, I wasn't offended. I'm sorry. I, I just, not at all. Not even in the least bit was I offended. Some people might say I wasn't offended because I'm not dark skinned. I mean, granted, I feel like I am, but you know, whatever. Um, yeah, I mean, people might say, you know, oh, you're not offended because you're not dark skinned. Okay, well, whatever, you know. My hair is not the curliest or the slickest, you know what I mean? And I still wasn't offended. Like, I have, like, coarse hair, like, hella coarse, hella thick hair, and I still wasn't offended. Yes, ma'am, I saw you peek. What time is it? Alright, I got 10 minutes. 10,000 minutes! Did you clean up? Yes, I did. But, I mean, that's just me. Like, honestly, it's rare that I take offense to um, things that these, like, these celebrities say. Like, I mean, sometimes I do take offense, obviously, you know, because it's like, just that that bad but otherwise I don't care that's your preference say what you want do what you want live your life do you boo cause I'ma do what I wanna do you know so like on, I don't you know I mean talking colorist, colorism, <laughs> I don't really like light skin guys, you know, truth be told, um, like if you my skin complexion, I mean, well, I'm brown, I'm tan, so you can be my skin complexion, but if you're lighter than me, I don't know, you gotta be hella hella fine, <laughs> I'm just saying, um, like, you know, like my preference, like, um, you know, I don't, I don't like guys who are my height. Um, like I said, you gotta be hella, 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 hella fine. I mean, you could be my skin complexion, but I mean, if you're lighter than me, then you gotta work hard, honey, hard to even try to, or, you know, or be hella, 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 hella fine, you know, just one or the other, or both, you know, well, actually both, not one or the other, you still gotta be hella, 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 hella fine. And you're gonna have to work extra hard than the guy who's like six feet and above 
brown skin, dark skin, pretty white teeth. Like I said, if you, whew, if you dark skin, tall, with pretty white teeth. Like, my crush back in the day was Tyrese. His teeth, oh my gosh. Like, oh my gosh. And like, my other crush is, um, well, crushes. Oh my gosh, my main one. Like, while y'all sitting over here arguing over what Chris Brown is just is saying, I'm just trying to get Michael B. Jordan to answer my DMs, <laughs> honey, listen, because the minute he does, it's a wrap. One <laughs> period, it's a wrap. For you hoes, okay? It's over for you hoes. Yes, y'all like this color? It's like a nice chocolatey brown. Let me spray my face too. Okay. And y'all, I made this wig and I colored it myself. Y'all don't want to see how it's really constructed though, but just know I did this. All right, okay. All right so... This is the finished look. We are done. I hope you guys enjoyed my little rant, chat, whatever you want to call it. And um, I, I really have to get out of here because it's 7. So I really got to get out of here. I got to change my clothes real quick. And excuse me. Ho, ho, ho. Disrespectful. But yeah. So make sure you sit here and watch the next video. Don't know what side I'm going to put it on. But make sure you sit here and watch the next video. And until next time, love you guys. Bye.